Hello, I'm Tony Botting at Go Engineer. I'm a simulation specialist. In this video, we'll show the sync mark prediction and present some rib design guidelines. This image shows the sync mark predictor on a component part with ribs adjacent to an interior view of the same component. The sync mark contours are colored by depth of shrinkage away from the mold. Larger amounts of shrinkage depth are shown by the red colors, and near zero shrinkage is shown in blue. This would be evidenced in an actual molded component as depressions in the plastic surface as shown in this photograph. When the analysis is complete, you can look in the results list and find the sync marks entry and select that. You can adjust the legend ranging to exaggerate the colors if you wish, like this. During cooling, the plastic material undergoes a volume reduction. In excessively thick sections, this can result in the surface of the part caving in and forming a sink mark, or there could be an internal void generated. Here is a section of the component showing the rib attachment to the wall, where it is inevitably thicker and can contribute to sink marks. Clive Meyer's Plastics Design Guide defines a rib root thickness, which is the diameter of this circle shown on the cross section and he suggests this dimension should not be more than 125% of the component wall thickness to help avoid sink marks. This dimension depends on the rib thickness at the base and the fillet radius here. Clive has graphed the percent of this rib root thickness relative to the wall thickness against the percent of rib thickness at the base also relative to the wall thickness for a given fillet radius. He suggests keeping the rib root thickness under this line showing 125% of the wall thickness. For example, this green line shows a rib that is 65% of the wall thickness at its base, and we've drawn it so that it stops at the 40% fillet radius curve shown by the solid black line. Extending it to the left shows the rib root thickness ratio falls under the 125% line. So this would be a design that would help to minimize sink marks at the rib area of the component. On the other hand, this vertical blue line shows a rib thickness at the base that's the same as the wall thickness drawn up to a fillet radius that's also the same as the wall thickness. The rib root thickness goes way too far, to 175%. Some guidelines for designing ribs that help to mitigate sink marks are listed in Clive's manual. He states, the rib thickness at the base should be about 50 to 75% of the component wall thickness. The fillet radius should be 40 to 60% of the rib thickness. And the rib root thickness, that's the diameter of the circle here, should not be more than 125% of the wall thickness. The rib depth should not be more than five times the rib thickness. And of course, the ribs should be tapered or have a slight draft angle to facilitate release of the mold. In this video, we showed the sink mark contour plot and some design guidelines for ribs from Clive Mayer's book. 